just what did you see down, down the stretch of that game? I mean, there's a lot of offensive firepower from both ends, but what did you see? Uh, well, they made some big shots. Hardaway's shot was uh, was the key, I thought, down the stretch. Um, you know, uh, we we have to expect that teams are going to make shots against us. It's just you know we're we're going to be circled on every team's calendar, and um, you know the defending champs and people want to take us out. So um, you know Dallas has not shot well the last four or five games um, from three, especially and. Um, we we got exactly what we expected. They made 15 threes, and uh, Luca is Luca. He's you know just a tremendous uh, shot creator, shot maker, and uh, we just couldn't get the ball to to go down uh, tonight. Uh, but love the effort. Um, I told the guys we're in a really good spot. Um, we have kind of rounded into form. Um, our bench has an identity. Um, we very very easily could have could have won that game, but. Um, you know, ball's got to go in the hoop, and some nights it doesn't. So we uh, we just move past this one and get ready for the next one. Luka has a double, had a double double his first of the season. He's strung together now three related games. What yeah. have you thought about him? Uh, best game I've ever seen J.K. play uh, because everything he did uh, contributed towards uh, you know making an impact on winning. His defense on Luca was was fantastic. He was disciplined. He stayed down. He challenged shots. He, I think he had a couple blocks. Um, you know, he um, he stayed patient offensively. He just took the the shots that were there. He knocked down a big three. Um, JK has been fantastic. He's really coming into his own, and that's very exciting. The shooting struggles, especially early with that, just more to do with it just being an off night or was it something that you saw that Dallas. No, was just an off night. Yeah, I mean, you could see right away we fell down. I think twenty three to six, and we had a, plenty of good looks. And um, it's just just part of the the season. This is you know this happens, and no big deal. When you said that the bench has an identity now, how would you kind of best describe that unit right now? Well, we're uh, you know we're we're pretty good defensively. Dante's doing a f- fantastic job uh, bringing energy and pressuring the ball. Uh, you know, we're running a lot of stuff through Draymond. Uh, Draymond's anchoring our defense. You got J.K. and Lamb both playing really well. Um, you know, Wiggs comes in with that group often. He didn't play as much with that group tonight because Lamb and J.K. were both playing so well. Um, and then Jordan, you know, Jordan is such a big threat uh, to score. So um, they, found a, they found a good groove, and uh, I think we're only going to get better from here. Two questions. I mean, one, that, that travel call on Steph was a pretty decisive moment in, in down the stretch of the game. Just what, what are your thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, calls are calls. So some go your way, some don't. And, um, you know, um, I guess the NBA is making an emphasis on, on plays like that. And um, I don't know if it was a travel or not. Um, I haven't seen it, but... Um, it's uh, it's going to be really interesting to see. Like if we're going to call that now, um, we got to we got to call it all the time because it happens uh, 30 times a game. Guys change pivot feet, and uh, so I'm really I'm really um, happy that the the uh, officials are going to emphasize it. But you got to be consistent with it. Second question. I mean, Clay had a great look there at, at the final horn, and that just is pretty much as good of an execution. Yeah, the guys executed the play really well, and, and Clay got a good look and um, just, you know, left it a little bit short. But, you know, Clay never hesitates, and he always wants the big shot. And, uh, you know, things didn't go great for him tonight, but he kept competing. And uh, I, th- I felt that way about all of our guys. You know, nothing really kind of fell our way. Um, and Dallas was pretty desperate. I think they had lost four in a row, and um, and they played really well, and, and we, we still had a chance. So proud of the guys, um, but we just couldn't quite get there. What did you think of, of your starting unit? I mean, so far this season, right, their plus minus has just been incredibly high. And tonight, they were all negative. Most of all of your bench is yeah. positive. It's a flip-flop. What did you think of them? Well, after... Uh, 21 games of setting all kinds of records for uh, being so high with their plus minus. I guess they were due for a game where, you know, things didn't go their way. So I don't even think about it. We just move on. After the last game, you had your arm around JK after the game, had a talk with him, has a great game this game. What's it like being seeing him kind of just grow up this quickly at such a young age? Yeah, it's exciting because um, it's not easy. It's not easy for him, um, you know, to be thrown into um, a high-pressure environment and, 
to have to be counted on to win. A lot of guys, a lot of his uh, you know, colleagues, guys who were drafted near him are being you know, given 30 minutes every night and, and there's not nearly as much pressure uh, to win because they're not on uh, championship teams. So he's handled everything really well. I think uh, the way he's playing is a direct reflection of his attitude and his approach uh, these last few weeks. You know, he's really uh, understanding um, the value of, of really embracing the mentoring that his teammates are giving him. And and he's understanding that uh, we are just, you know, coaching him just to, to get him uh, to be the best player he can be. And he's, a, he's on, a, on a good track. So it's uh, nice to see. Thanks. Cool.